And so tonight, the big question is, who's next? The Washington State Labor Council says they want all of their half a million members to be given priority, including bus drivers and grocery workers. Q13's Olivia LaVoice has the story. I think the uniqueness of being a child care worker is that we inherently come into the field as an advocate. We're a voice for the voiceless. Instead of just celebrating the fact that finally child care workers who have gone to work every day during the pandemic can finally get their shot, many are demanding that all essential workers get vaccine priority. They need the vaccination just as much as we do. The Union for Washington Child Care Workers put out this tweet saying anyone who still had no choice but to go to work, putting their health on the line, deserves to be prioritized. We don't want to feel overvalued, but we just want to feel valued. Samuel Dancy has spent more than half of his life working at QFC. A lot of us, we, during this pandemic, we felt um, underappreciated, um, underrespected. Um, the only thing we felt over was overworked. Okay, so it, the morale has gone down. He says it's tough to explain the stress of it all. This is the only place that I've ever been to where people just come in without their masks. He says it's a constant issue. Customers coming in without masks, large crowds inside. He says it starts to take a toll on you. He wishes the powers that be could walk a mile in his shoes. Let anybody that feels like we are not essential, they don't even have to work a week, just work one day. And they'll see how, how things are, how things operate, and how people just, you know, not all of them just don't really have a lot of respect for us working in the grocery store. He says he's happy for teachers and child care workers that are now eligible to be vaccinated, but he can't help but feel left behind. It made me feel slighted again, like, are we really essential? You know, I mean, essential to what? Why can't they do the teachers and us all at the same time? You know, put us all in the same group. Don't put us on the back burner because everybody's put us on the back burner for a long time. Olivia LaVoice, Q13 News. Yesterday, Governor Inslee released a statement that in part said, quote, I will soon be announcing when our state vaccine prioritization will be moving to include critical workers in certain congregate settings, including those who work in grocery stores, farm workers, food processors, bus drivers, corrections workers, and others. Of course, we'll keep you updated as soon as we learn more.